food began in 1986 in Rome on the Spanish steppes when the first McDonald's opened there. And there was a journalist named Carlo Petrini who wrote about food and, and culture who organized a demonstration. He got all his friends together because he was outraged by the idea of McDonald's arriving in the, the center of uh, Italian cuisine. And he got all his friends to come together and hold silently a bowl of pasta. So there were two lines coming from the opening to the McDonald's restaurant where people stood in silence and reminded all the people going into McDonald's that they were in the midst of Italian's, uh, Italy's great um, cuisine um, and that there was uh, something to be thought about if they were gonna go shop at McDonald's for a meal. Slow Food is an organization that pushes a message of good, clean, and fair, all in regards to food. So good food, having good quality food, uh, clean food, so having no GMOs, food that isn't anything but natural, and fair so that the farmers get the recognition that they deserve and the local producers do as well. I'm Debbie Fredlizio with the Napa Valley Slow Food, and I, my committee is in charge of what we call the snail of approval. The snail of approval will be a stamp that will be located on your business or businesses where you can go and realize that they're gonna, they've been approved by the Slow Food Organization as, as being good, clean, and fair. And you'll feel safe and secure that you're going to a place that really is taking care of our world and is, is working to be sustainable and providing you with the products that you really want. Slow Food Chapters put on events, some every month, some twice a year, four times a year, um, depends on the chapter. But to be responsive means that when you get an invitation to go to a farm or go to a school and build a garden or uh, learn how to cook something or just come to a potluck to sit down and meet people from your community and talk about food, just be responsive. You show up, you'll have some fun, you'll meet some people, uh, you'll learn about the food system. Or you, uh, the, on the other side, you can be more creative and uh, initiating and become a leader of a Slow Food chapter. I joined Slow Food in 2008 when I was selected as a delegate to Terra Madre a large slow food convention that happens in Italy once every two years. I've been serving on the board for now three years and just became a chapter leader. As a slow food member, I've seen it thrive. And as it's thriving, all we want is to bring even more people into our community. It's exciting and we want people to join in so that they can make the difference that they want to see happen.